Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And a quick video in the JavaScript today, we are going to talk about that what do you mean by template literals in JavaScript? Very simple, very important topic. After ES6 module, uh, JavaScript has introduced the template literals in the string. So with the string literal that we define, for example, let's see if I have a uh, any name which is uh, return within the double quote. So this is called, uh, let's see, I'm writing Naveen here, right? So this is a string that I have created. And then if I really want to print, the Naveen will be printed here. But what I want that, what if the data is uh, coming dynamically and I really want to use the uh, string literals with the dynamic data or dynamic content, or I really want to introduce some variables in the string literals, then in that case, how should I do that? So we are going to talk about template literals which is actually defined by the back tick. I'm talking about back ticks here. It means I'm talking about this one. See the back tick on your keyboard, you have to write it like this, this and this. I'm not talking about single quote or double quote. See single quote looks like this and double quote looks like this, but I'm talking about back tick one and two. So within these two back ticks, we have to create a string. We have to write a string, okay? So for example, let's see if I'm writing something, uh, another variable, let's see here, I'm writing that age is equal to 30. And uh, I really want to use it in a particular uh, message here. So let's see, I'm writing another string message, which is equal to with the back tick. And then whenever you have to use these variables like name and age variables, variables you have to write with what? See this spatial character, you have to use it dollar. And then curly braces and whatever the variable name that you want to use, you have to use it. So this is the format that you have to use it here, right? So for example, let's see here, I'm writing that, hello, that my name is a Naveen, <clears throat> but Naveen is there in the name variable. So here I'm going to write a dollar curly braces, and then I'm going to write name here, whatever the dollar name that you have written. And then after that, I'm going to do what? and age is whatever the age variable again dollar and these two uh, curly braces and then age that you have to write here something like this right within the back tick and then this is a semicolon ended here now if you really want to print this console dot message and if i run this program here you can see hello my name is naveen and the age is 30 or whatever the variable value is you are going to print will be printed here so this is a this is called, this op, uh, operator is called, you can say a backtick operator or template literals operator also we can do that. So there are a couple of other use cases also you can use it here. Let's see, for example, uh, you are writing some script and there is one string that you are maintaining it. So for example, let's see, this is the uh, multi line is equal to, and you really want to create a paragraph, right? So what we do in the paragraph let's see if i'm writing within the double quote i'm writing hi this is my javascript code and in the next line i'm writing that and i am so happy and i want to be perfect in javascript so see this i have three lines of code i have written within double quote so i cannot write it it's giving me a lot of errors here Right, so this these kind of problems we can easily solve with the backtick. Simple write this entire string within the backtick here. So see, I'm writing one backtick here, ended here, and then started here like this. And that's it, and then no error. After that, if you really want to write n number of lines, you can write it, right? So let's see if I'm writing, oh yes, whatever the suggestion is coming, and then let's print this particular multi-line on the console. So I'll do one thing that uh, here I'll be, writing that console.log and multi-line and then I'm going to run it. So when you run this here, you can see that it's the same format. The output is coming. Hi, this is my Java code with all these tab spaces also coming here. So if you don't want to write, you can remove all these spaces. You can remove, let's see up to here and you can remove this also. So whatever the format that you pick in the same format, the output you will be getting it. So see, I'm running it again and now you can see the output is coming here like that. So multi-line uh, uh, lines also, multi-line strings also you can create with this, right? Okay. 
then if you really want to write some expression let's see some mathematical expression or something like this that also we can write it here for example let's see i'm going to create one variable variable a is equal to 10 then another variable b is equal to uh, let's see 20 and uh, i really want to write that what will be the result of uh, a and a plus b so see this i can simply write again in the back tick and i'm writing the addition or whatever the sum of what sum of dollar variable x like this and dollar variable y in the curly braces so addition of x and y is what so again i can write a dollar and then here i can write the addition expression here also that a plus b or a minus b whatever addition sum you want to hear right you can write it here so addition or subtraction or multiplication or anything that you want to write, you can write it here. And then after that, I'm just going to print this particular result here. That's it. We have to write A and B here. Okay. So let's quickly run it again. Now you can see that the addition of 10 and 20 is 30. Right. Sorry, by mistake, I thought X and Y I have taken, but now it's A and B. So whatever the variable, you just write it and then use it here right so tomorrow if you really want to write let's see a minus b so that a minus b also you can write it here so whatever addition or whatever you want to print so let's simple run it again it's giving me minus 10 here if you really want to use some multiplication so a multiply by b also we can write it here so 10 multiplied by 20 is equal to 200 we are getting if you really want to write okay a divided by b a divided by b means 10 divided by 20 let's see what exactly the output is giving me 0 0.5 it's giving me here so any expression or mathematical expression if you really want to write you can write it here as well right let's take one practical example that in let's see tomorrow you're designing some framework with playwright or cypress or anything right so i'll do one thing i'm going to create a function here let's see get x path function right and then i really want to create an x path and this XPath says that you have to give me the customer name or any username. And then we will return you what? See this carefully. If I'm writing that we will return you the XPath. So let's see XPath we are writing with two forward slash and HTML ID, whatever HTML tag is there. And ID is equal to, I really want to write like this. And I really want to use this particular name variable also. So if I'm writing the name directly here, right? It's Will it take the name dynamically? So let's call this particular function. Let's see, get xpath function. And here I'm passing that the name is Naveen here. Right. And whatever the return is coming, then I'm just going to print it on the console that with the console.log. Let's print it here. So let's see, I'm calling this xpath. Naveen will be given to name. And this name will be appended here. I mean, Naveen will be appended here or not. Let's see. So I'm running it. So when you run it, it says that, okay, name Naveen is not getting appended. Name is only coming here, right? So I'll do one thing. Okay, let's write with the back tick and end also with the back tick here. Now the name will be appended here because name is behaving like a function parameter. You can say a variable here. Then let's run it again. Then again, it's not appending. So what I told you, whenever you have to write the variable, you simply write the variable with the dollar curly braces and then use it here like that now let's see is it really appending naveen here yes so see i'm getting the right x path over here so you want to write with any other value that also you can write it let's see i'm writing tom here and then again you run it so you are getting see tom with single code right because we have to maintain the single code also in the x path but let's see i really want that okay i want to supply tom's here Sometimes we have to write this, right? Naveen's address, Tom's address, Naveen's phone number, like that. And I really want to maintain this single code here also. It means I really want to escape that character also. So that is also we can do it. So we just need to write one backslash here before this. So this is the escape character. We have to use it. And now if I'm running it, you can see that Tom's is maintained properly here within the single code. So with this backtick, you can solve these kind of problems easily. Dynamic uh, variable or dynamic expressions or dynamic uh, 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 string literals that you really, uh, strings you really want to use it, you can use it here. So this is like very simple, very powerful, introduced after ES6 module 
and uh, it will be easy to maintain some very important messages or multi line string you really want to write you can easily solve these kind of problems with this i hope this is clear that's all for this particular video